finish because I have my cat. I have not had the internet, so there is projects that are not on my YouTube channel. But I made this dress for Emmy, and she really does love it. And I have made a shirt for my camera girl. And now I'm going to make a pair of shorts, and I have made room to make the shorts. So let's get started on the shorts. I'm going to attempt to try to make a pattern. My mom is the one that made the patterns for the other ones. But I'm going to try to make a pattern so I can make the shorts. So, I hope I win. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn them to where they're folded in half like this. And I'm going to work on the back side first. So, I'm going to lay them down here. And then I'm going to draw me a line down this way. All the way down. And I'm going to add to it down here at the bottom, right here. Then I'm going to go up over here. <clears throat> and now I've got a, a curve right here. So let me get my curve tools. And we'll give it a curve. Yeah, that'll work. That will give it a curve right here. And I'm adding on. And then I'm going to go across the top right here. And I'm going to kind of slant them a little bit. Not much. Because they are kind of slanted. See, it would be forward, it would be the slant. <laughs> okay, so there is the back side. Now let's work on the front side. <clears throat> we'll turn them back this way. And I'm going to poke in the back because they're not in the way. Okay, I have this one right here and I want to take this one and put it right here and I'm going to attempt to do the same thing <laughs> so here is this right here and we're going to slant it out this way <clears throat> Okay, and then down the back. Amy, I want. Cross this way. Hey, Emmy, be quiet now. We're recording. Okay. I think we got that. So we'll cut this out, and then I'm going to see. I'm making the waistband right here. So I cut out two pieces of newspaper that is 18 inches long, and I put them together. She is 23 inches. So we're going to go 23 inches, which is right here. And now I'm going to add on enough for a button, which will probably be an inch and a half. And then I'm going to put in for seam allowance and any other thing that may need to be. So I'm going to put in, what, another one and a half inches. I hope I'm not wrong, but we'll find out. Because I don't know. I am just playing the game. No. So, <clears throat> we have this now. And... I went on ahead and I cut out the zipper part that you have right here on the zipper part. I think that that is probably big enough. I hear, <clears throat> I think I may need to cut it down just a tad. 
Let's see what we got here. Oh, good God, yeah. Let's cut that down a little bit. Cut that down. It ain't so big. Okay. I think that right there looks a whole lot better, yeah. Okay, that gives me some to play with. And now we have pockets. I think I'm going to skip the pockets because I don't, I'm not for sure how to do those. But I will put some back pockets on. I can do that. So, <clears throat> with the back pockets, I need to find me another piece of newspaper. So let's get over here and find a piece of newspaper. And, now then, we only need part of one. This pocket is five inches. Five inches. And then it goes down three inches. Three inches. And then I'm going to fold it in half. Let's see if I can fold this bad baby in half. Fold it in half. I left me a little bit of seam allowance. <clears throat> okay. And now we're going to just cut it straight up to the three mark. Thank you, huh? And I think we need to go a little bit more on this one. I think it's too much down here at the end. Hello. I think that's better. Alright. Because once you fold it in for the seam allowance, yeah. it'll all come down. Alright, so, now let's find our material and we'll get started. Okay, I have got this folded in half on this side and on this side. I have uh, pinned these two down on both sides. I'm, not, I'm going to cut them down right here. So that they can be sewn together the uh, the right way as it's shown. Now when I get this right here cut off, then I'm going to be able to lay this up here. And I'm going to be able to lay one of this up here. And then I'm going to be able to make the pockets right here in the middle. So I'm going to get busy and cut all this out. And then we'll check it out from there. Okay, I have all my pieces cut out. And I got my binding here. And what I'm going to do, the first thing, is I'm going to work on the pockets. Because I want the pockets to match the shirt. And we have this binding on the uh, shirt. So that? what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the binding and I'm going to sew across the top on both of the pockets so that we can make it look the same as the shirt. So here we go with that. Okay, I got the pocket on. I think it turned out really good. So now I'm going to get out the iron and I'm going to trim these off on all four of them because we don't need them that big. And I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this over to where it will make the pocket easier to put on the back of the shorts. And then after I iron them, then we'll be back. I got the sh uh, pockets done. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to eyeball them. Because I am no professional. And I think right about there will work. Right here. And now I'm going to take the pins that I've already got in them. And I'm just going to pin it down a little bit. I think that will work. Because we have this right here at the top. Which it's going to be folded. So let's just check it out and see 
how it looks before I go on. Yeah, I think that would be a pretty good place for a pocket. So now I'm going to go down and I'm going to pin these down right here in this area. And I'm going to do the other one the same way. Right about here in this area. Emily, that'll be enough. All right, let me get my ruler. Let's check it out. I've got it like one and a half inches down. Oh boy, this right here's going to go up. So let's go up on it. Uh -huh. Tell you what, let's go with an even two inches down. And I'll move that one down a little bit. Emily? So now I'm going to pin this one down right here. And we're going to go back and we're going to do this one over. Oh, got to take the rest of the pins out. Okay. And then we'll go up. I'll get it right here in a minute. Okay. I'm good at that. So. <clears throat> Alright. I'm going to pin these down. And I'm going to go ahead and sew them on. So that they will be on there. And I don't have to worry about them later. So. Let's hope we got them right. We will find out when we get done. So I'll be back. I have my pockets sewed on the back. And they look pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the front. And I'm going to sew these two together. Turn them right sides to make it look good. And I'm going to sew it right here. So that it will have a blue, uh, a zipper look, but not have a zipper because I'm going to put in elastic. So let's get started on that, and we'll get that done. Okay, I have this done. I think it looks pretty cool. So I'm going to put it right here, up here at the top with this, and I'm going to pin it down. And now I'm going to sew it onto this so that it looks like it has a um, uh, zipper in it, but it don't. So, let's get that done. I have got that sewed on. Oh, right here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to sew each one of them down the side. Right here. So, I'm going to get the pinning, and I'm going to sew this down. I hope these turn out. I'm going to so bad. Okay. Get that over here. And there we go. Alright, so when I get these sewed, then we'll come back and see what I think our next step should be. I don't know if I'm doing it right, but we are going to work on it. So, I'll see you then. I thought I'm going to give it a try. I have my round ruler, and I'm going to put it up here in the corner, right here, and I need to measure down on it. So let's go three and a half. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the binding, and I'm going to go around, and I'm going to pin it down right here where the pocket will be or is supposed to be I have to go this way and I'm going to pin it down and I'm going to sew it to make it look like it has pockets in it even though it does not have any pockets in it so that 
it looks like it does. So we're going to give this a try and we're going to see how it looks. Yeah, I got that done. That looks pretty cool. I hope they turn out the way that they should. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to repin them back to the back and sew down the sides. So here's this one and we are going to pin down the sides here. And then when I get this on, then we'll be back to see what I think should be done next. Because I don't know. I'm just playing it. So, we'll be back. The thing I'm going to do is right here where they're not level together, I'm going to cut them down to where they're level. And if they're not level at the bottom, I'm going to cut them down to where they're level too. Okay, my next thing is, is I want to put on a hem. And I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this binding. And I'm going to put on a hem down here with this collar. And it's, it's crazy. I keep on changing thread and th changing thread. But the way I feel about it is... It's looking really nice, and I'm really happy with it. So it's worth changing the thread, and all, because this is really turning out really cool. I like it, and I hope <clears throat> that they turn out right. But here I go with this. It, it'll be more like the elastic is where I will have my problem, but <clears throat> we will see that when we get here thread on I went ahead and I sewed down this away on both sides towards the back pocket and I think that right there will give it a good a, a look to it a nice look to it so now I'm going to try to do the hem okay I got the shorts hemmed up what I did was turn the shorts back uh, the hem backwards like this and I put the strip right down it and sewed it down it. And it was pretty good. I kind of like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew only this side right down in here. And then I'm going to work on putting the elastic and the band on right here. So I'm going to sew all this. Not down here. Not right here. But right down in here. And so that I can put the band on it. So, let me cut trim them off. We don't need that. So, I'll see you when I get back. The, I have cut the shorts a little bit too big. But that's alright. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a pleat here and here, here and here. And this is in the front. So, it will have a pleat in them also. So, that right there will give it a good little look. So I'm going to fix the pleats and then we'll be back take a look at them. I have a pleat here and a pleat here. And then a pleat here and a pleat here. So now I'm going to put you on the stand and we're going to work on the uh, elastic. Okay, now we're going to work on the elastic. We have this laid out right here in front. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go from this uh, pleat to this pleat. So I'm going to put this here, and I have an invisible line going down the middle of it. It's one of the collars that are there. So I'm going to put that here, then I'm come down here, and I'm going to bring it forward a little bit. To put it here on this right here pleat. I don't want to pin it's messed up. Okay, so now I have it. Oh, I need to go up. I'm halfway because I want the other part that I have. Okay. Go down a little bit so I can. Okay. So now I'm going to stretch it out here and see it gives us a little bit of stretch. I don't have a, I'm not making it to go all the way around. Just on her back, on her back right here is where it's going to stretch. 
So that will work out well. So I'm going to take and sew this in and this in, and then I'll be back. Okay, I have that done, as you can tell. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to fold this over like this, and I'm going to pin it all the way across and sew it. And then that way, we have the elastic enclosed in this. So, when I get this done, then we'll be back and we'll see what else we need to do to it. Got this done. And it, see, it doesn't have that much elastic in it. It's just enough to hold it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting all this right here together. And we are going to pin this all down onto the back of this, and we're going to sew it down. So whenever I get this on, then we'll be back. Now then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up here and my pin right here. Because she's having trouble pulling them up. And I'm going to sew from right here all the way down and around. Till I get right here at the end and then I'm going to figure something out right here for her on that so I'll be back the looks of it what I need to do first is I need to so uh, put a hem right here for the where the zipper uh, false zipper is right here down so that uh, it will make it look better. And then I'll come back and see what I need to do then. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to sew the crotch area together. So, whenever I get back, I'm going to go ahead and try them on her and see what they look like on her and see what I need to do about doing what to make them fit and all this other good stuff. So, I'll be back when I get that done. Yeah. I do not like this crotch area. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this loose right here. And I'm going to try to redo it and see what I can do to make it look better. So, I took this apart and I put it on the outside of this seam. And I left the opening right here. So, now I'm going to put a buttonhole right here. And I'm going to put a button right here. So, um, whenever... I think what I also need to do is for Purdy's sake is to try to take and put this down on the back side so that it will cover up this. So I think that's my next move and I'm going to go ahead and do the button and we're going to call it quits there. I had to come back to show you this. I'm really happy with this. This took away a lot of seam that has a lot of fuzz on it and I put the color same color that's on that there and on the outside I put the color that belongs on the outside I think it looks really good so now the next thing I have to do is put the button on and it's somewhere right in here so I'm gonna have to make sure so um, I guess you'll see the picture of it when I get done